Hey, what's up everybody? It's Scotty with Evil Castrigal. We're back with another ride video today. Really cool motorcycle. I'm really excited to get on this thing. If you can see it, we are on a CF Moto CL700X Sport Edition. Awesome motorcycle, budget motorcycle. Maybe, let's check it out. I think just looking at the specs, maybe the best budget motorcycle on the market. I've just, just looking at the thing, I can tell you, very nice build quality, very familiar let's say power plant in this thing with a few modifications. Um, really cool, let's check it out. So again, the bike that we are looking at today is a 2023 CF Moto CL700X Sport. And it is super cool looking. I have been really impressed with this since I saw it the other day. I kind of dig this half futuristic, half retro look that this bike and some of the other offerings out here in this category have. The uh, CB300 and the CB500 come to mind, as well as the Yamaha XSR models. So you see that power plant right there? Eerily familiar to a Kawasaki 650. I'm guessing that CF Moto has some kind of manufacturing deal because that looks exactly like a 650 out of say a ninja 650 or a z650 um, what i understand about this motor is to get to that 693 cc uh, they have went to a four millimeter longer stroke i believe on this thing don't hold me to that i'm not the spec god but that's what i've read um, really interested to see how it performs along with that bigger displacement this thing is going to be pumping out a few more horsepower than the Kawasaki that might have the similar engine in it. We're looking at 74 horsepower out of this thing. I guess you could get a passenger on that, although they, they might not be very happy, uh, but it does come with pegs. Rimbo brakes, you can see in the rear there. Obviously you can see the cylinders, uh, master cylinders up here. Inverted forks, dual Brembo's in the front, ABS. Really cool, let's check, let's check out the screen here as we turn it on. Full digital readout, really nice. You've got a fuel gauge and all of the modern accoutrement, including, look at this, adjustable suspension. We'll get to the price point in a minute. I don't think you're gonna beat the specs on this thing for this price point. Cruise control. As far as I know, this is maybe the smallest bike, smallest displacement that comes with cruise control. Um, I don't believe the Kawasaki Versus, I know the Ninja, and I know the Z do not come with that cruise control. So that's a really cool feature. You've also got an Eco and a Sport Mode to ride this bike in. Uh, really, really impressive. Just love the looks. Can't wait to get it out onto the road. Now, without further ado, let's do that. Let's get this thing out into the twisties. Oh, and if you were wondering about price, 7400 MSRP for this thing, $73.99. That is wild. Putting our gloves on, getting all safe. Shout out in the comments. We're getting on me for not wearing my gloves last time I rode. And we are started on the CF Moto. See if I can see what ride mode we're in. Hold it down. Eco mode. I don't know if you can see that. If I hold that, we enter eco mode right there. Now we're in sport. Left, right, left, right, sport. Let's ride it in sport. Gotta ride it in sport. Okay, and we're off. A couple more impressive features I wanted to talk about with this thing before we actually get on the road. So we are dealing with KYB suspension. This thing, I know I said that the forks were adjustable, but I did not mention that they are actually a KYB 41 millimeter fork. So this is not just a, a bike filled with a bunch of different Chinese off-brand stuff. There's lots of quality parts on this bike. Brembo brakes, KYB suspension. And it does have a six-speed transmission with a slipper clutch. 
Man, this bike sounds really good. I will say the brake, very powerful. Sounds good. Has you know this the 650 engine, or I guess this is the 693, but uh, it's always kind of had like more of an off-road engine note to it, which I kind of dig. So far, the bike feels good. You know, uh, one thing I'll say about CF Moto products, and I don't obviously this is the first CF Moto motorcycle that I have ridden, uh, but when we're talking about their off-road products, because we do carry the off-road side of things at the Louisville store that I work at, CC Power Sports Louisville. Um, the quality, the fit and finish, very nice. Not what you, uh, or not what anybody really has come to expect. You know, most of the time when you ride like uh, some of these Chinese brands, you do feel a lack in quality fit and finish on some things, throttle tubes. You know, I've had a lot of experience with the KO and it's a great motorcycle. Um, it's been really fun to mess with and work on, but some of the things you can feel where they may have cut a few corners, um, you know, with the, maybe the quality of some plastic molds, like I said, throttle tubes, any of the controls, things of that nature. On this bike, it doesn't feel like that. Um, it feels at the same level of quality as uh, the big Japanese manufacturers, and, and, and honestly, maybe Maybe even a step above in some regards. I'm gonna turn the cruise on. We're not on the highway, but I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it on just to feel it. Um, let's see if we've got it turned on here. We got it set at 50, and we are actually at 49 mile an hour, and we are cruising at 49. Cruise control works. That's awesome. Gotta love that. Turn that back off. That is a really cool feature. Um, as far as a motorcycle, you know, uh, this size, you know, we're talking about a seven, like the 700 level. I literally, and don't hold me to this, because I do talk out of my keister sometimes. I don't know of another bike at this size, at this price point, uh, <laughs> that has cruise control. These things start out, you know, I said earlier that this bike MSRP is $74.99 or $73.99. They actually start as low as $71.99 for the sport. So, just an incredible budget, incredible price point. You know, we're kind of lugging it. We're not really getting into the motor too hard. Uh, just kind of cruising around basically in overdrive with this six gear. But I'm impressed. The seating position is really good. It's not too aggressive for me. I'm not one of those guys. I don't like a real aggressive seating position. Um, and I was worried about the clip-ons, but the way that these clip-ons are mounted on the forks, they're actually a little taller. They sit above the fork almost. So they have that clip-on look. They've got that cool angle here, but they're not as aggressive. And uh, I dig it. The pegs are honestly in that Goldilocks zone for me. My knees are up and tucked, which is nice. We're going to downshift a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Feels good. motor sounds awesome it's got that uh, honestly it's got like an MT-07 feel to me definitely feels punchier than a Ninja 650 you can definitely feel that extra CC um, I think I love this thing <laughs> Oh my God, I'm in love. Ashley, baby, if you're watching this, can we take it home? <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my God, really comfortable. Is it a bike that's uh, maybe gonna be really comfortable for a passenger? I don't know. But uh, as far as corner carving, this seating position, the geometry, really good. Like I said, I have to say so far, if I were gonna be, if I were looking at this bike and I were looking at um, let's say uh, a Ninja 650, a Z650, maybe the Z is more this bike's direct competitor, um, or a CB500. I think I'd go this thing, man. For the price, it's just insane how nice it is. The suspension feels really good. You know, I'm a bigger fella, and I don't feel like I'm overwhelming this thing at all. 
Oh, uh, yeah, color me impressed. Really, I think what I would compare this bike to looks-wise, I would say this bike is um, on par with, say, a Husqvarna Vitpillen 701. Um, I don't know the, hus the horsepower out of that, but I do know that that bike is a single cylinder. Um, this bike, obviously, is sporting a twin, parallel twin, uh, which, so I think it's going to have a little more horsepower. It definitely feels like it's got a little more oomph underneath, you know. We've definitely got a higher torque number out of this thing. Um, but, yeah, I, I just, I, I am uh, honestly overly, overly impressed, and um, I, I, I really, I want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> wow. Do a little turn around here. Gets up to 60 mile an hour really quick. I'm not going to do a true zero to 60 because we are kind of on a back road here. <laughs> but um, I will say this bike has no problem accelerating. And, you know, yes, this is uh, a Chinese brand, but this is a huge Chinese brand. This, you know, they own a major stake in KTM now. They obviously help other Japanese brands with manufacturing. Uh, Kawasaki, Yamaha, you name it. I think they've got their hands in a lot of companies. And uh, we're starting to get a really big dealer network for these in the United States, so I wouldn't be concerned that way. As far as reliability, uh, you know, like I said, at the Louisville store, we carry their off-road products, and we've had zero problems out of them, really. I mean, they've been awesome since we picked them up. People seem to love them. And, you know, they're already making a lot of other bikes that are on the market, so I wouldn't be scared. Um, and I think, I think in the next coming years, I think CF Moto is going to continue to expand into the market. And uh, I think they're going to be around for a long time. I mean, it's just, it's for the money. I just, you, you can't beat it. Uh, and if I were in the market for something like this, say a mid-sized naked bike, I think this thing is really cool looking. I think if you're looking for something that's going to stand out a little bit, but you want something that's really good, I think look at one of these. I mean, I love it. You know, I'm not here to sell this thing. Again, we don't even carry... The CF Moto motorcycles at the dealership that I'm affiliated with. Um, I just I just like a good deal. You know that if you watch the channel. Um, I'm all about stuff on a budget. And uh, I think this is an incredible bike for uh, the money. You know, we're talking about, you know, south of $7,500. You're probably going to get a new one out, the, out of the dealership for, you know, $8,500 maybe. I don't know, out the door. It's going to be close. But for what you get, like... I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing. And the, the cruise control and the six-speed transmission alone really sell it for me. That's always a huge selling point for me. Just because, I, you know, I come off of the Triumph Bonneville T100, and it's, you know, it's bare bones, old school. It doesn't have cruise control. It, you know, it's only got a five-speed transmission, um, and it doesn't handle all that good. It's a fun bike. It's a, nice, it's a beautiful motorcycle, but as far as fun factor, this is a lot more fun to ride. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, and it's almost the same, probably the same horsepower, if not more. Basically, what I'm saying is the CF Moto CL700X Sport feels like a bike that costs well over what the MSRP is. I would say this bike feels like a $10,000 motorcycle, but it's actually a $7,400 motorcycle. I mean, the next closest thing to this with cruise control is going to be the Honda Rebel 1100. Um, <laughs> and it's $10,000. So, yeah, there you go. Um, and it doesn't have adjustable suspension, I'll tell you that. And it does not have Brembo brakes either. Really nice. Love it. This bike is available, unless I take it home, honey. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> It's available at the at the Brooks store right now if you're watching the CC Power Sports Louisville. So, you, I, you know, hey, I love my job. Check them out if you're in the market for something like this or anything. we got plenty of motorcycles there. Um, so I appreciate them letting me ride this thing. I love it. I have fallen in love with this thing. Um, I, I, I honestly, I'm kind of I'm speechless. Huh? <laughs> 
I really like it. <laughs> Let's ride it in eco mode just, just for giggles. We got her down in eco now. I mean, it's a little, it's a, it maybe a little bit more lackadaisical off the bottom, but not that, not that huge of a difference, honestly. It's definitely lacking a little bit of the punch in eco, which is what it's supposed to do. Probably 98% of the time this bike would get ridden in sport for me. Um, I, I really like it. I'd like to take this thing home for a weekend. <laughs> maybe, maybe for forever. All right, closing thoughts. I love this thing. You know, I, I fall in love with a lot of motorcycles I ride, but um, I don't know, something about this thing has really got me. Um, just super fun to ride. Awesome in the twisties. I think it handles really good uh, for a 72 to $7,400 motorcycle. The cruise control, the adjustable suspension, the six speed transmission, uh, the ride modes, ABS, you name it, the spikes got it. Um, and it's just really impressive. The Brembo brakes, I can't believe it. Um, this is definitely one that I want. Um, don't need it, obviously, but definitely want it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, like and subscribe, all that stuff. And let me know what you want to see me ride next. Check you later.